It's time for a death battle! Rewritten. Tetsuo Shima, Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo Tokyo. And Tatsumaki, the fearless, ferocious esper from One Punch Man. <laughs> Out of that hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading minds, and blending people into strawberry jelly, Tetsuo got what he wanted. Power, along with the hunger for more of it. Tetsuo's main ability is his constantly increasing psionic energy, growing more and more powerful over time. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. This guy is a walking natural disaster. His telekinesis can shake the planet, easily cause earthquakes over a dozen miles below the surface. He can summon psychic barriers for defense and crush foes with friggin' gravity wells. He can dart around as a literal bolt of lightning or even teleport in an instant. Tetsuo's telekinesis can be so precise he can target and obliterate specific parts of the body. He can heal severe wounds quickly, but even after losing a whole limb, he can craft a new one using whatever nearby materials he wants. Tetsuo's defeated other powerful espers, dodged light speed lasers, and jumped to the moon faster than anyone could blink, and then punched a big old hole in it! Which brings us to Tetsuo's folly. His abuse of his powers spiraled until he lost control. And this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo painfully mutated into an unstoppable behemoth. Meant becoming a mound of raw, ever-expanding energy. Which almost nuked Tokyo all over again. And those explosions are not normal. Top scientists in both the manga and animated versions describe these explosions as births of a new universe. Given its properties of nuclear fusion and proton collapse, Tetsuo's mutated form was likely creating a big bang. You know, the thing that started our whole universe? Her psychokinesis, she often floats above her opponents, looking down on them literally and figuratively. Her favorite thing to do is throw rocks at people. She's also fine throwing other things like trains, schools, people, even a giant octopus. Not only that, but she can alter the direction of gravity, create town spanning barriers, twist up a human body, cause magnitude 8 level earthquakes, and spin up enormous whirlwinds. She's the most powerful esper of them all, even better than her older sister, Fubuki. Anyway, manipulating objects and organisms is only part of her skill set. Tatsumaki's power truly shines when it comes to precision. Oh yeah, she's so talented, she can use her crazy mind power to have full control over television! Well, Tatsumaki has some level of control over a person's chi, or as it's known in traditional Chinese culture, vital life force. If she can overpower her opponent, she can use their own chi to disable or even kill them. Against other espers, she can spiral her own energy to redirect theirs, and even suppress their powers in an instant. Yeah, Lady Tornado can block their psychicness whenever she wants, so long as they're a weaker esper than her. Seriously, this chick is so powerful she pulled a meteor from outer space. Well, while that move is pretty well known, it technically is not canon to the original source material. However, that doesn't mean it's off the table, as it turns out her other accomplishments prove she's more than powerful enough to pull it off. Just look at her lifting up this! Tsumaki is psychokinetically lifting the entire hideout, which was previously stated to reach over 1,500 meters deep. He must be lifting over 3 billion tons of rock. Gross attacked City A with a hailstorm of giant bullets. She was fast enough to stop them in midair and turn them back on the enemy ship. Scaling these bullets to the height of a human and gauging by the amount of damage they could cause, the bullets must have been moving 1,800 times faster than sound. She's tough enough to survive an attack that's 300 times the Earth's gravity, which probably explains why she could push through crazy G-forces while flying and fighting against the One Punch Man himself, Saitama. By looking at the distance they flew in such a short time frame, they were likely moving more than 36 times the speed of sound. Their psychic power drains them of energy, so they can get worn out to a point where they can't do their psycho magic for a while. Also, she generally has to focus exclusively on either offense or defense. So when she's on the attack, her guard is lowered, something a skilled enough opponent can certainly take advantage of. Also, should an esper like Tatsumaki suffer a serious head injury, their powers become more difficult to use. Bullets, she was fast enough to stop them in mid-air and turn them back on the enemy ship. 
Scaling these bullets to the height of a human and gauging by the amount of damage they could cause, the bullets must have been moving 1,800 times faster than sound. Jump to the moon faster than anyone could blink. energy Tatsumaki used to stop and redirect those giant bullets. We determined the energy she displayed here must have equaled at least 470 gigatons of TNT. 